Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com. Welcome back. And today for our Naked Money series, we're going to be talking about the value of note taking. And again, a lot of people might ask, well, what does this have anything to do with your money? Well, when we add in our whole body, mind, soul, and spirit, everything really is important. And to learn how to do note taking well, I find has made me very, very successful. And I'm going to explain why. I want to share share some thoughts with you on why it's important. So last week, um, I was out of the office and I was spending time. I've been working on a big project. It's requiring um, investors. And my investors came into town. They're looking at my project. And um, so I was out with them a good portion of the week. We were, we were doing a lot of business. I was working with some partnerships. And then we went to the PulseCon 2022 convention. And um, I'm telling you, I had so much going on. But one thing I did take with me was a notebook. And I'm always so grateful that I take a notebook with me. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, from my perspective, um, I'm just not that good. And what I mean by that is I don't have a memory to re remember. If I ask you to tell to segment your whole entire day of all last week. Could you, could you recite back to me what happened in your week all last week? And could you remember it in detail? And for me, I need to be able to remember certain things and I'm taking notes because I've got to come back. Like when I'm back in my office environment, I've got certain things that I've got to get done. And, you know, I want to be really, really efficient and proficient and good at what I do. And I, I want people, um, to look at me with value and, and I need to be that person that's encouraging other people to do better. I need to be the person and go, Hey, remember what we talked about? Blah, blah, blah. We, I need you to get this done for me. Your part of the deal is this. And they're like, Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. That's somebody that didn't take a notebook with them. I'm the one that's always going to have a notebook. And for me, you know, as I'm always learning new things like PulseCon 2022, learning about the crypto and NFT environment, I don't know about that. I'm learning and I need to get good at my game. So I was writing down notes about what people would say. I was writing down notes about the meetings that I was in and all the things that I need to get done. Um, I was offered so much good advice and I will never in a million years be able to remember what was packed into a 14 hour day, six days in a row. So the, the value of taking notes is it keeps you on track. Okay. But also let's, let's think about the fact that you're sitting in a lecture. Let's say you're going to go to a convention and it's high lecture. There's people giving you a lot of information. Writing down notes helps you stay awake. And, and that sounds silly, but when you're listening to someone drone on and on and on and it, after a while, it can come off a little boring. Well, if you're writing down notes, it forces you to pay attention. And it's amazing. Um, I'm always amazed that people will come to a conference or something without a notebook. And I'm like, didn't you come here and pay money to remember this information? I'm sorry, my memory is not that good. I have to write it down. And, and when I'm writing things down, I'm having to listen to what is being said to me. So then I'm right, I'm regurgitating it on paper. Um, and, and back on that, you remember what you heard when you write it down. And I have a photographic memory. So for me, if I write things down, I can remember writing it down. I can pull things to my memory really quickly because I can remember writing it and I saw it visually. If I see something visually, I can usually remember it most of the time. But again, taking notes makes you more attentive. And for someone that speaks publicly a lot, um, it really helps me become a better speaker when I see people engaged in what I'm saying. And a lot of times, if I see people in the audience taking notes, it makes me make sure that what I'm saying is valuable and I'm bringing like great content to them because I mean, they're writing down what I have to say. So I better be valuable in bringing something good to the table. Um, so it makes me be a better speaker for those in the audience that are taking notes. Um, also, taking notes um, helps you prioritize after you go back and maybe you've been in a lecture all day and you've got all these notes. You can take a highlighter through and highlight certain things that were important and prioritize those. Like, let's say you're learning how to be uh, a real estate investor and you've been in a real estate investment 
um, work, workshop all weekend. Well, there's going to be some things that were said that are more valuable to you than others. So get out a highlighter and highlight those things. Prioritize what you need to do first. Okay. And taking notes last but not least is going to help you improve your organizational skills. I was just talking about priorities. Well, by taking notes and then highlighting the notes and putting them in priority, um, you're becoming way more organized than the average bear. So I noticed that people that come to conventions that are, or going to, even they go to church. I always take notes when I go to church. I want to be able to remember what was said to me, or let's say I was thinking about, um, something the preacher said, and I'm like, what did he say? Or what scripture was he quoting? Well, if I wrote that down, I can go back and go straight to the Bible and read that scripture. And I have it because I took the notes. So I'm helping become, I, I'm more organized. I'm more pri putting up priorities, but I notice this all the time. People that take notes make more money. It's a fact, guys. If you're not making the money you want, or you, there's certain things you want, you got to get organized, take better notes. So if this helps you or you want to learn more about it, get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com. Let's have a conversation. Cindy Berkland here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching the channel. And if you want more content, just need you to click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking right here. If any of these conversations have interested you, please get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com or you can reach me at cindyberkland at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.